Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer requests and devotions. I hope everybody's doing all right this morning on our prayer request today. Kathy and her husband have COVID. Pray that they'll get better soon. Lisa's granddaughter is seven years old and has COVID. Uh, now she's had it for 11 days, I guess now. Uh, pray that she gets better soon. Arlene passed away. Pray for comfort for her husband and the family. Amy's grandmother has had the flu for three weeks. She's trying to get well, but she's very weak. She's 82 years old. Pray that she gets better soon. And Jamie has a job interview uh, today at the Goodwill Outlet. Pray that all goes well for him. Okay, our scripture of the day comes from 1 Timothy 5, 1 and 2. Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, and younger women as sisters with absolute purity. Okay. All right, and our um, devotion today is entitled Sister to Brother. When a leader asked if I'd speak with her privately, I found Karen in the retreat center counseling room, red-eyed and wet-cheeked. Forty-two years old, Karen longed to be married, and a man was currently showing interest in her, but this man was her boss, and he already had a wife. With a brother who cruelly teased her and a father devoid of affection, Karen discovered early that she was susceptible to men's advances. A renewal of faith had given her new boundaries to live by, but her longing remained, and this glimpse of a love she couldn't have was a torment. After talking, Karen and I bowed our heads, and in a raw and powerful prayer, Karen confessed her temptation, declared her boss off-limits, handed her longing to God, and left the room feeling lighter. That day, I realized the brilliance of Paul's advice to treat such, to treat each other as brothers and sisters in the faith. How we see people determines how we interact with them, and in a world quick to objectify and sexualize, viewing the opposite sex as family helps us treat them with care and propriety. Healthy brothers and sisters don't abuse or seduce each other. Having only known men who demeaned, used, or ignored her, Karen needed one she could talk with sister to brother. Uh, the beauty of the gospel is it provides just that, giving us new sibling to help us face life's problems. How can seeing others as your brothers and sisters help you treat them with absolute purity? How do you think Paul's advice helps both sexes to flourish? Dear Father, help me to treat others with, with respect and purity. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's uh, early morning prayer requests and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, brothers and sisters, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And also, I'd love to see you later on at morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.